Hello friends, how are you? Welcome back once again to the GDS YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the parasympathetic receptor. Parasympathetic receptor also called as the cholinergic receptor. Cholinergic receptor. These receptors are under the acetylcholine. Mainly here is the main agonist over we have the acetylcholine. So under this parasympathetic receptor, mainly we have the two types of receptor. These are the muscarinic receptor. These five types of receptor are the muscarinic receptor and another one class here is the nicotinic receptor. This is the very summarized form of the receptor. Where is the location and what are the uh, pharmacological action of these receptors. So here I have summarized M1, M3, M5. These three odd number while M2, M4 these are the even number. These have the different properties and different receptor uh, pharmacological receptor transduction mechanism. Here M1 receptor, M3 receptor and M5 receptor. These all three receptor mainly if you are talking about the G M muscarinic receptor. I will summarize here. All the muscarinic receptor are the GPCR means these all are act, acting through the GPCR mechanism under which mainly we have the two classes here M1, M3, M5 all the odd number <coughs> M1, M3 and M5 these all odd number are activated or acting through the transduction mechanism by the GQ protein GQ protein here GQ protein if indicated that means it will act through the IP3 DAZ pathway IP3 DAZ pathway acting through the GQ protein <coughs> and these will further leads to the increase of the calcium ion and that increase of the calcium ion will further produces the pharmacological actions so here M1 receptor are located into the CNS firstly CNS in the CNS they causes the increases cognition while second M1 receptor is located also in the ganglion if you're talking about the ganglion then under the ganglion it generate the action potential generate action potential generation mechanism while another one this is also present into the GIT in the GIT it increases the secretion make sure here this is not present into the GIT in the GIT this M1 receptor mainly act on the gastric glands and on the gastric gland it increases the secretions here I will summarize means here we are talking about the glands gastric glands increases the secretion M3 receptor is located into the smooth muscles and all the smooth muscles in all the smooth muscles it leads to the contraction and mainly where it located in the bronchi in the bronchi it causes the bronchoconstriction while here I will summarize here this is present into the bronchi detrusor contraction this detrusor muscles is present into the uterus and uterus muscles contraction in the uterus there are two types of muscles first here this upper portions here we have the detrusor muscles while at this portion we have the trigonal muscles so this muscles detrusor muscles contraction and another one in the GIT in the GIT it leads to the contraction now next blood vessels in all the blood vessels it causes the vasodilation but how when it acting through the ip3 daz pathway then it leads to the calcium ion concentration increases the calcium ion concentration this increase calcium ion con concentration what happens by the increasing calcium ion this will further leads to the activation of the nitric oxide epithelial nitric oxide and this increased nitric oxide will increases the EDRF that is endothelial dependent releasing factor and that 
endothelial dependent releasing factor will further leads to the vasodilation so all have the con contraction is mainly mainly blood vessels in the blood blood vessels it leads to the dilation and this vasodilation carried out due to the increased nitric oxide adrf and the vasodilation next m5 receptor m5 located into the cns and into the cns it mainly increases the dopamine release by which we get the active form or increase concentration of the dopamine next m2 m2 receptor is located into the heart heart and mainly into the heart it causes the decreasing action that is the bradycardia simply we can say it bradycardia and into the bradycardia all these three things force of contraction rate of conduction and heart rate all will decreases all will decreases means we can in the pharmacological term we can say that decrease contraction means negative negative inotropic negative inotropic decrease conduction means negative dromotropic and next one heart rate decrease means negative chronotropic so these are the three negative forms that will leads to the bradycardia so m2 receptor leads to the bradycardia and decreasing the contraction conduction and heart rate next m4 receptor m4 receptor mainly located into the cns and in the cns it leads to the inhibition of the neurotransmitter release it inhibit the neurotransmitter release other neurotransmitter release it inhibit now next these all muscarinic receptor are act through the gpcr while next nicotinic receptor nicotinic receptor are two types nn and nm nm and nn and these are the inotropic receptor inotropic receptor or we can say these are the ligand gated ion channel ligand gated ion channel okay and here the main ion which is responsible is the sodium ion okay so ligand gated ion channel inotropic and sodium ion these are the three main important points on the basis of this nicotinic receptor are located into the different position nm and nm 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 receptor located into the neuromuscular junction into the neuromuscular junction and on this neuromuscular junction it causes the muscle contraction muscle contraction all the neuromuscular junction acting drug is mainly here style choline mainly causes the muscles contraction while nm receptor is located into the adrenal medulla ganglion and cns in the adrenal medulla it causes the noradrenaline release in the ganglions it causes the action potential generation while in the cns it causes the stimulation and as well as analgesia here one important point i have summarized m1 m3 and m5 acting through the gq protein while these two even number m2 and m4 m2 and m4 these both receptor acted through the gi protein gi protein means inhibitory proteins then what happens it causes the decrease cmp decrease cmp this decreased cmp will further causes the increase potassium ion increase potassium ion opening increase potassium ion opening and this increase potassium ion opening will further leads to the hyperpolarization hyper polarization and this hyperpolarization will produce the here mainly the inhibitory action that is here inhibit and here decreases 
So this inhibitory action is due to the GI protein that will further decreases the CMP and further increases the potassium ion opening and leads to the hyperpolarization and inhibitory action. So these are the cholinergic receptor, muscarinic and nicotinic. Muscarinic receptor are five types M1, M3, M1, M2, M3, M4 and M5. While nicotinic receptor has two types NN and NM. They are different location, their action and what is the effect on that organ. Here is the summarized form. Very easy, very important for your preparation purpose. Thank you.